so welcome and welcome back to my channel guys this is JB23 vlog for today's video guys I would like to share to you how to disassemble the main bearing of the generator engine Yanmar model 6EY18LW uh, so this is part of the maintenance guys as per 20,000 hours we have to inspect the main bearing conditions so as you can see in the video guys right now we are installing the hydraulic jack of the main bearing main bearing cap so I didn't show in the video guys that we already loosened the side bolt of the main bearing main bearing cap so right now we are pressing up the hydraulic jack into specified hydraulic pressure which is around 594 588 to 594 bar so at this moment guys we are now loosening the lock nut of the main bearing cap as you can see when you loosen the lock nut guys you have to count how much the hole you should read first the manual guys before attempting any overhauling jobs so as you can see guys uh, it's about five to six holes only to avoid problem upon detaching the hydraulic jack so it's already loose and right now we are waiting for the we have to release the pressure guys as you can see if you release just slowly slowly just don't make it quick and for safety reasons so right now we are removing the hydraulic jack and we are ready to install the special tool of the main bearing of the main bearing cap so just detach the hydraulic jack that way so before installing the hydraulic jack guys you have to consider the turning back of the hydraulic jack so it will not so that it will not stick over against the hydraulic jack top part so it is included in the manual case how much turning back of the hydraulic jack so we carry out the uh, general overhauling of this generator guys uh, 20,000 hours overhauling so as you can see the side bolt is already loosened and we have taken out the side bolt we have we have to protect the threaded part of the side bolt guys every time we have to detach any side bolts any bolts of the generator we have to keep it properly not to damage the thread as you can see guys the pulling tool of the main bearing cup is already installed so the purpose of that pulling tool guys is to evenly pull the main bearing cap together with the main bearing assembly guys so as you can see we we have to tight the center bolt and we have to tight the center bolt so that the main bearing cap may lower as you can see guys we have to tight like that and that yes that center bolt we have to tight so that it will pull against have to leave some space or 
to completely drop the lock nut so that there is an access to the main bearing as you can see guys you cannot do it alone so you have to be you have, must be two of you because it is it should be balance as you can see guys i already tight the uh, pulling pull of the main bearing cap but now the main bearing cap has slowly come down so you have to catch not to damage the main bearing cap you have to catch with the locking nut as you can see guys slowly and slowly the main bearing cap has come down So what is the purpose why are we checking in this so as part of the preventive maintenance system it is very important to check the conditions for any scuffing any braces or any signs of abnormalities that we have to consider case so as an engineer on board we have to follow all the instruction manuals as also the company SMS so this is the extension guys I'm holding now the extension of the main bearing cap stud so that we can drop down a little more the black nut of the main bearing cap so we have to detach the the pulling tool of the main bearing cap and then we have to insert the extension of the stud so that it will catch the main bearing cap without falling down or without damaging the main bearing cap this is to support not to damage the main bearing cap So at this moment guys we have overhauled we have cleaned the crankcase but anyway even if there is an oil inside you no need to worry if the of this kind of overhauling you have to be careful not to fall down all this stuff when overhauling guys if you can see some any braces any scuffing or any damages of the main bearing cap it is necessary to replace the assembly assembly means it should be in pair the upper and the lower bearing even if it is showing that the lower bearing is in wear because the lower bear bearing subjects the maximum wear or maximum load compared to the upper bearing so right now guys we are installing the extension of the bearing cap stud just install like that and this is the catcher of the lock nut I install the other side when pulling the main bearing cap you must be in rhythm so that it will not be difficult to drop down the main bearing cap just like that guys so the extension tool or the special tool should be mating face to face end to end so that it will not turn when you turn the lock nut of the main bearing cap as you can see guys that position should be that position guys you have to use the pin a 10 millimeter pin or any you can use any of the allen keys guys or a special pin to loosen that black nut 
you can see guys you have to be in rhythm so that it will not be difficult to drop the main bearing cup as you can see guys when you find it difficult to remove just balance the removing procedure you have to create some rhythm with the other lap nut should be like that guys it's coming easy easy the main bearing cap so as I said before guys when you replace the main bearing cap you have to replace it in pair don't just replace one of them because that is the recommendation of every maker to avoid any complication any problem of the system so in this video guys i have i haven't shown how to disassemble maybe for next video guys i will upload one of the procedures as you can see guys that's the main bearing the lower part of the main bearing i haven't record the how to remove the upper part of the main bearing it's just simple guys you have to insert the t t, t tool which in the you have to insert the cranking journal guys so that it will touch the upper part bearing as you can see guys that's the main bearing lower part it is still in good conditions so i hope you learned something about this video guys and if you have any comments or suggestions please feel free to drop down below and until here guys i hope you learned something about this video and this is jb23 vlog stay safe everyone bye bye